Hello, and welcome to this week's edition of the Wildcat Watch. I'm Annie Hansen. Senior graduation is almost here, but before you can graduate, you need the right threads. Join Baker's Alumni Association for free food and your first opportunity to pick up your cap and gown. Friday, May 11th from 4.30 to 6 p.m. at the Alumni Center. No RSVP is needed for the event. We hope to see you there, and we hope to send you back with your cap and gown and your bellies full. Getting ready to become a senior in the fall of 2018? Want to leave your legacy behind before parting ways with good old BU? But not sure how. Reporter Kiana Turner visited with 2018 senior Thomas York about his time at Baker. I had the chance to speak with Thomas York about his time here at Baker University. So when I first came to Baker, I was um, pretty nervous. I didn't think I would get like much friends, kind of like high school. Um, I felt kind of isolated from people when I first started at Baker, um, but I quickly found groups on campus called to Greatness, um, Mangano, and those organizations, and it kind of helped me branch out of you know staying in my room all day and um, just working on assignments. It was one of my goals, like in life, was to be um, the concertmaster of a college university orchestra. So and like to get that here at Baker just means a lot to me. Well, Baker has impacted my life a bit, quite a bit. Um, honestly, the professors are very influential. Um, the students are also influential as well. Um, just I've met a lot of students that um, are willing to step out of their comfort zone and do things that are pretty big and um, can change the community in big ways. Um, big event, stuff like that, that have kind of influenced me to um, step out and really impact my community. So after graduation, uh, I run this small detailing business and I plan to continue that um, into the summer and um, I actually plan on taking a year uh, before grad school, hopefully in the fall of 2019. Um, it's either going to be MNU or KU at this okay. point, but we'll see where that takes me. It's going to be for uh, mental health counseling. So I'm really excited for the opportunity um, to uh, be able to get into that field. What I would say to incoming freshmen is get involved into community. You can't just stay, you know, rattled in your room or um, stay isolated. You really got to get into community. The community here is amazing. I haven't seen community like Baker University anywhere else. And get involved in like an organization, whether it be Call to Greatness or Equality Alliance or Mangano. Just get involved in a community and get yourself in a position where you can make an impact on campus and you could even make bigger impacts in your community. On behalf of the Wildcat Watch, Thomas, we wish you the best. This time of year can get pretty hectic with finals on the mind and summer in the air. But don't forget, Mother's Day is right around the corner, which means the annual ceramic sale has begun. The students enrolled in ceramic courses make one-of-a-kind gifts like pots and mugs. The proceeds will benefit the art department, so show some support for your fellow students. And show your mom some love by getting her a gift that she'll love. If you haven't stopped by Mail and Copy Center recently, you may need to do so before the school year is over. Reporter Abby Brockman is here to tell us why. As the school year comes to a close, it has become increasingly important for students to pick up their packages from the Mail and Copy Center. According to Kelly Garrison, director of the Mail and Copy Center, it is preferred for students to pick their packages up the day they get an email notification. If a package does not get picked up within approximately two weeks, students will get more email reminders. Garrison said it is important to pick up packages because it may be from a family member. If you have packages that still need to be picked up, the last day to do so is Friday, May 18th at 4.30 p.m. 
Reporting for the Wildcat Watch, I'm Abby Brockman. It's time to put your cornhole skills to the test. Join Baker's first annual cornhole tournament on May 15th at 4 p.m. on Maybe Lawn. The teams are groups of two players. The event costs $10 per team and payment is due May 11th. Contact Jamie Hodge for registration or any other questions. Mangano is celebrating a fantastic anniversary this school year. Ian Calkins has more about their celebration. Mangano is celebrating their 50th anniversary this month, so I went and talked to Paula Depo to get some history behind the group. The Mangano was founded in 1969 uh, by Dr. Jerry Marlin, a professor then at Baker, here at Baker, and, uh, and so next year will be the 50th anniversary, and so we thought that we'd end this school year by starting off a 50th year celebration, and so uh, the end of the school year we'll, we'll do like a Mangano mixer and a performance in Rice Auditorium just to kind of give people a taste of what, an experience of what Mangano is like, and then next year we'll have have a 50th anniversary celebration and so we're just trying to pick up momentum and start some momentum and, and pick up next next school year and so when the 50th anniversary comes it really hits campus a lot of people can really know about this organization. Vandy Hobson is a member of Mangano so I asked him a couple questions about the upcoming events they had planned. So this week of Mangano is going to be a huge week for us. Um, this is our Mangano week so of course we're promoting uh, diversity and unity and difference. So uh, we're starting it off by kickstarting uh, in the CAF this Friday. Uh, we're uh, promoting the Mangano Mixer. Um, it's going to be a huge thing. We're going to have events, uh, food, um, different games, uh, just to bring everybody together for, towards the end of the week to you know, give everybody's minds off finals and everything. And um, also, uh, leading into next week, we're going to have a uh, Mangano uh, pretty much like, um, like dance event. And uh, that's going to take place on the 11th. And uh, that's going to promote, like, have different groups and different organizations come together and just have a good time and uh, just have fun before the finals week and get everybody's minds uh, off, of, off of all the stress from, of course, finals and just all the end-of-the-year pressures. Congratulations to Mangano for 50 years at Baker University. This has been Ian Calkins reporting. Will you miss the cafeteria food when you leave for summer vacation? For this week's Baker Beat, reporter Abby Brockman asked students at lunch what they will miss most about the cafeteria. Thanks for tuning in for this week's Wildcat Watch. Signing off for the last time, I'm Annie Hansen.